Hey guys, Daniel here. We're back for another episode of Me Insider. Quick remark though, uh, I apologize if my voice is muffled at all, but I hope everybody out there is staying healthy and staying safe. Today, we're gonna be visiting the camera laboratories where they tested Mi 10 and Mi 10 Pro, a project that I've been working on for a really long time. So we're gonna take a look at exactly how that turned out and exactly how we got it there. So for those of you who don't know, Mi 10 Pro achieved the top score for video, audio, and camera on the DxO Mark rankings. So to talk a little bit more about that, two of my good friends, Xia Jun and Lin, are gonna be explaining a little bit more about this. So first question we have for you guys today. Fans have been asking me, is DxO really a good measurement of camera performance? Okay, well, to evaluate uh, camera performance is not a simple task. It's not only depends on the uh, lighting condition, but also it's a subject matter. You know what, even content also has a strong influence on the test result. Mm. There are three standards in the camera test, uh, VSX, CPIQ, and the DxO. DxO has the longest history it's already widely accepted by the uh, mobile vendors. At Xiaomi, not only just uh, to achieve a higher you know, DxO score, but also we have our own many uh, different things. Do you want to take a look? Yeah, totally. If we could take a look, that'd be great. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Hey, wait. Um, wait. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> okay. So we're here with this super cool thing in the laboratory. Yeah. Can you tell me a little bit about what sets Mi 10 series camera performance apart from competitors? Okay, mm, firstly, I would recommend that uh, video. You know, uh, we got very high DxO video score. Behind this, we enable the ES plus OS feature. But you know what? DxO only test working scene, but Mi 10 can get a very good performance even on the running scene. So is, is that what this is? Yes, this is our uh, vibration platform. It has a very heavy base. It can filter the high frequency uh, shaking from uh, outside. Also from like all the vibration from the ground, that's cool. Yeah, and uh, this part used to filter resonance shaking. So very important to the test environment. You know, the accuracy is very important. Okay, that's, that's super cool. But I've been wondering, what's behind this big black curtain? Yeah, this is for test texture. You know, texture is also a very uh, good feature in the meeting. Yeah, let's take a look. Perfect, let's go. Cool, so this is where we measure texture? Yes. So what is, what is happening here? Yeah, this is what we test the texture. You know, meeting gets the highest DxO score right, in the texture. But that device is, is called timer. It's to test the exposure time. And this chart is called deadlifts. It can test texture acquaintance. And that chart is for the motion blur. Cool. So this runs all on its own, yeah? Yeah, it's running automatically. Oh, that's awesome. Cool. This is to be testing Zoomy. Actually, a lot of our fans have been asking, why did we choose 10 times hybrid instead of periscope? Yeah, periscope lens is also a very advanced technology. We carefully uh, evaluate it, but user experiences are final pursuit. From the testing, our 10 times hybrid lens even performs better than the periscope. Yeah, because we have a very bigger uh, aperture. Mm. I agree, it's been amazing. Yeah. Okay, so Mi fans have been asking about one thing pretty much more than anything else. It's about the 108 megapixel sensor. Can you tell me what the main benefits of 108 megapixels are? Okay, let me put it like this. Considering you are going over all your old pictures you took seven or even 10 years ago, wouldn't you hope that you had taken those images in higher resolution? I would. I think the point is that we provide uh, um, our users an option that they can capture the most precious moment in more detail. Of course, if you don't want to, you can use the default capture mode. It's 25 or 27 megapixels. Okay, that makes sense. Speaking about the 108 megapixel sensor, so we worked on it in partnership with Samsung. Mm -hmm. Can you explain a little bit more about that or? Okay. 
we defend this sensor, right? Actually, we have a dedicated sensor team based in Beijing and Tokyo. And uh, we provided the detailed requirement to the uh, Samsung, like frame rate, pixel technology, and uh, power, etc. Right? We're working together uh, to make it happen. It's just like Apple use a customized Sony sensor. Makes sense. Okay. Uh, talking about, still, again, um, we were talking about big detail. So, why 8K? 8K? Okay. I think it's similar to 108 megapixels. Mm, we, it's an option recorded now for the future. We are always thinking forward. We hope we could pr push forward the technology now, and then in the future, we, when we look back, we, we are happy we had it. Okay, so I think you guys know more about this camera than anyone else in the world. So are there any features that you think the fans should know about? Mm, in our camera, we develop many great features. For instance, we provide our front camera with snow motion. It's fun to have a try. And also we create vlog mode. You can capture some fancy videos with different presets. You, you must have a try. And uh, in our Xiaomi gallery, we also have many um, interesting features for me fun to explore. For instance, the magic sky, which is filter, which is very popular in China. And in this feature, we introduce some AI algorithm to abstract the sky from the other part in the image. And then you can replace it with a totally different one. And uh, it's very eye-catching. Okay, well, I'm gonna make sure that as many people try that as possible. Mm -hmm. Thank you guys so much for all your work on the product and for taking the time actually to talk to me today. We really appreciate it. Thank you, Daniel. Thank you. Thank you very much. Stay tuned for the next episode of Me Insider, guys. Thank you very much. Thank you.